Today we're going to install the, the Yellow Dark Linux operating system on the PlayStation 3. And to do that, you're going to need a few things. So let's get that in place first. Okay, you are going to need a, whoop, a computer, of course, and you're going to need a DVD, not a CD, because uh, Yellow Dark is taking up a bit much space. Okay, and then you're going to need, of course, a, a PlayStation 3 system, and a USB keyboard and a USB mouse. Okay, remember, this uh, wireless PlayStation 3 keypad won't work because it's wireless and uh, before the Linux setup is complete you can only use wired connections so when you have installed it you can use your keypad but before that you will have to use a USB keyboard Okay, so here we are. First, boot up your PlayStation 3 and do that because we want to make a separate partition for the Yellow Dark. So, hey, go in under the tab, the settings tab, and under system settings. And then there's a formatting tool, and I don't know what it's called in the US version because I, I've got the Danish version. Click on that. And then you can see that you only got one option, which is format hard disk. You click on that. Yes. And you want to click on the user defined and allocate 10 gigabytes to another operating system. Click on that. And you can now choose uh, between quick format and uh, what it's going to call the complete format, I think. And I'm going with the quick format, and the only difference is that if you're using quick format, uh, you can use a special program to find the files, so it's actually not deleting the files, as it is in the complete format. Okay, now under the quick format, you click yes and I'm not because I have already formatted my hard disk uh, before you're formatting your hard disk it's very important to uh, back up all your save data in here and there is as far as I know uh, okay again under settings and system options I think is tool for safety backup I think and then you can choose to backup all your data but if you want to do it manually you can always do that but remember that it's only the safe data and not the game data folder that you need to backup so safe data data very important game data not very important and of course also your virtual memory cards if you want that but everything else like uh, users are not going to be deleted okay so now I assume that you have formatted uh, your hard disk placed in three hard disks so that it's now in two partitions one big for the PlayStation 3 system and one on 10 gigabytes for the yellow dock system Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to download the actual ISO file. So to do that, we open Internet Explorer or another internet browser, I don't care. And then we just wait for my... Okay, very slow computer. <sighs> 
チャッタラッタラッ That's exciting Yeah. Okay, so we're going to us.fix stars. Oh, come on. Thank you. Fix us.fixstars.com. And then on the software, you choose yellow dot Linux and home users. And click on the tutorial and download and then you just choose one of these mirrors and we are going to use this from the United States wait for that to open click on the ISO folder and look for a file that's named yellow dog 6.1 and some weird numbers and stuff and then the uh, new p3.iso not the uh, the one that's just called yellow dark 6.1 and something you want that where with the new p3 okay click on that and you download it, download it and i am my download is already pending you can see 4 minutes minutes and 6 seconds left so we're just going to wait for that. Of course, it, you don't want uh, to just burn the ISO file as a file, but you want to uh, burn a CD from the image. So you're going to need a burning program. And I'm using a lovely free burning program which is called uh, CD Burner XP. Okay, so you just search on that on Google and go into the side and then you can just download it here. Ding. Download the latest version and install it. So when you have done that, uh, the ISO file is probably almost downloaded. So now there's only two minutes again. Thank you. Then if you have Windows Vista, you already know what to do with these annoying dialogues that's popping up all the time when you're trying to download a program or file. <sighs> okay.